Hi and welcome back to RA Reviews. I hope you are all well. Thank you for joining. If you'd like to help support my channel, please hit that subscribe button. That will help a lot. Sorry I wasn't here last week, but as I explained in our weekly live vlog, everything got very hectic. We were out visiting and then the product didn't arrive in time, so I just didn't get time. But it's here now and that is what we're doing a review on today so today we are doing the rapid peeler as you can see this is the box it comes in so the reason i am doing a review on the rapid peeler is because now i can't be the only one so this is part of the reason why i'm doing this so a normal peeler I personally find really hard to do peeling the spuds. Just the grip, it's not hard enough, it's not mm, it's not grippy enough and I throw spuds everywhere trying to hold them. So I thought hold one of these and give it a go. Now before I begin, just a little reminder that I am not paid for doing reviews, I'm doing it all off my own back. Um, and in no circumstances am I medically trained. This is all based on my own views and opinions. Okay, so let's crack on. So, the, it comes in, depending where you order it from, I ordered it from Amazon. Just comes in a bag. Just comes in a little bag, your package bag, that's it. And then you've got your box. So, we're going to unwrap it and have a little loopsie. So you open it up, it, it's not sellotape down, nothing. You just open it up um, like so. And like that. And you see the product and we're going to pull that out. And that's it. Oh. Do you get this little leaflet uh, that has directions of use um, basically it says directions of use and how to change the blade so we I'm gonna move the camera so you guys can actually see it so okay so we have our potato peeler it's not wrapped it's not stuck together nothing quite easy your box and your potato peeler here and spare blades this one comes with six spare blades okay um so we we have this part oh hello that's quite noisy isn't it so i presume that's to hold the fruit in or potato whatever you're using i presume that's for the fruit or whatever you're using this bit also moves up. If you struggle with your hands, you might need two hands for that. But it's not too bad, it's just pinch the back and it goes up and down. Here's your blade here, I presume. Um, that doesn't do anything. And okay, so on the back you have oh, on the side you have your on and off button. You have this, I'm not sure what this is yet, not sure, if you know let us know in the comments down below. Um, here you put batteries in so it's portable which is excellent, so you're going away on holiday or something. And there's another bit here, oh and that's where you keep your little spare blades in, that's quite handy. Okay, so you can use this as battery powered or you've got the hole for the plug to go in which we're going to do now so we'll move these out the way this box is your your plug just going to open this yep yep so your ac adapter um i do believe when i was looking online for all this um, if you live in different countries, they have different plugs. So we've got three pin or two pin. So I'm going to quickly plug this in so we can carry on. 
So, we have plugged in the thingamajig, the plug. Put this ah! to the back, make sure it's off before you start. And apparently that starts on its own. Um, okay, so we've plugged it in, as you heard it worked. By the way, just like I say, this is all plastic by the looks of it. And it's very, very light, which is always good. So, I presume we maybe, ooh, both of these, like so. Now, I have bought two spuds to the uh, party and a bowl of water. Just put the spud in once it's peeled. Now, we're going to begin and put this spud in. So, I'll put the spud in and presuming oh, we do like so no okay so push our spud in like so now let's turn it on see what happens okay and she's off okay that works quite well it's missed a bit at the top Okay, so it does that. So it does the majority of the spud. Now it hasn't done the top, so let's see. No, I don't like the top, okay. Okay, let's turn it off. Um shall we try oh my let's try ah Prime potato. Just want to see if you move it around if that helps. The peeling. No, sorry, oh, a little bit, a little bit. So it helps with that bit. Not, I wonder if, if you touch it, that would help. Let's try. Okay, so it doesn't do... Oh, it's stuck now. It didn't like that at all, did it? So, apparently, you do the middle, fine, and you probably need a knife or something to do the end. Maybe. Maybe. So I'll put that in there. Now, I have got another one. So you can make long long potato peels and cook them up that'd be different wouldn't it um you could do like special shepherd's pie with squiggly bits instead of mash i don't know so we'll try this again with another spud spud who likes spud we had shepherd's pie last night that was quite nice didn't use this so i'll take it for a review right don't know why I gave you that information, but hey ho. Let's see if we can assist it. Uh, around. Oh, it's down in the water. Okay. So, oh my god. God. So once that's down, it's actually really hard to get to the button to turn it off, so you have to lift it a bit to get the button. Now apparently there is no way of doing these bits at all that I can find. Maybe you can, I don't know. So I guess it's no hardship. I guess if you can't peel, you just slice that little bit off and slice that little bit off as well. Um, and there's your potato. I guess that's that's how I'm thinking about it at the moment um, or if you can peel I guess you just I hate using these this whole point of it though isn't it so oh yeah and then you're done or you just leave it on and cook with it whatever works but I'd say if you really struggle with peeling fruit or potatoes cutting off the end or just taking it off with a peeler is no hardship 
and it does the majority of the potato for you so i say oh i say that's quite good really considering what it's saving your hands with um this bit you have to pinch the back to move it and yes i can do it but it is a bit stiff some of you may struggle and may have to use two hands but then that's quite hard too because it's so light so it just lifts um but yeah it, it seems to do the job the one thing i probably don't like is when it's done the spud and it stops i don't know mate it's just me and my brain thinks oh yeah it stopped it's safe but as we all saw when you take if you lift it a little bit it comes back on so this bit is actually blocking the button you see that which makes oh i suppose it's not a big hardship see there you go you think it'll turn it, it off itself let's just see what that does so it does sort of uh you know what it did so it semi turns itself off just be cautious when you're using it definitely okay so yes brilliant really if this is something that you want to use i say it's quite a good light compact machine not going to take up loads of room um still haven't worked out what this is for I, I honestly couldn't tell you because it doesn't say um, but if you know put it in the comments and then we'll know so oh, I can't get back in now there you go I've done it done it so I say it's quite a good product um, looks quite easy to clean okay so and it looks quite easy to clean I don't know if this comes off so clean it no that does not come off these don't clearly come off, I would say. No, they don't come off. So it is all one unit pretty much. But it looks quite easy to clean, I'd say. I mean, yeah, I'd be happy cleaning that. And it's light, so like I said, if you go camping or something, you've got the batteries in the bottom, keep the spare blades in there, and you're ready to go happy days so all in all i say it's a good product and you get funky looking potatoes or fruit whatever you choose to do so all in all i say it's a really good product if you're someone that really struggles using these um handheld potato peelers or fruit peelers and this is quite a good gadget i must say so i got this one of Amazon which was £20 or £19.99 and I did do a little bit of a look um, and you can get on eBay for I do believe £14.99 not too bad um, so they are out there uh, I think this one costs a little bit more because I chose the one with extra blades so you get six instead of one that's something to think about if you want the extra blades or not or buy them separately if it runs out um another thing i've just noticed is it has little rubber feet to give you a little bit of grip when it's on the table which is a bit helpful um i'd say pretty good pretty good little gadget definitely if you want spuds done that is the review on the rapid peeler let us know what you think about it leave your views down below also whilst we're on here i just wanted to say that i am currently doing a poll on facebook i'll leave the link down below um to whether i should raffle off everything that i'm reviewing um this would help also fund the uh fund more products that i buy to do reviews and then do a raffle on. So let me know if you're interested on the poll that will be running for a week and we'll have a look at the end of the week to see what the decision is, whether I do do a raffle on them or we don't. 
Um, it would only be a pound a ticket or a pound for five. It's just a little bit to help support what I'm doing. Like I said at the beginning, I don't get paid for any of this. Um, I am doing it all off my own back. Okay, cool. So thank you for joining today, RA Reviews. I hope you enjoyed this one. It wasn't too long. Um, it's only as long as it is, I guess. Um, so I look forward to seeing you next week with RA Reviews. Don't forget, if you haven't already and you'd like to help support the channel, please hit that subscribe button. That really, really helps. Okay, I'll see you next week. I hope you all have a lovely week. Take care. Lots of love. Bye for now.